Hi, I'm Ashley, and I bought a shed that we are turning into a she shed, aka my dream craft room. And this series is the process of how we did that from start to finish, so I hope you'll follow along for the final reveal. Hey friends, welcome back. This is going to be episode 5 of the She Shed build out. We have a lot of things going on in this episode. We're getting some windows installed, the doors will get installed, getting more of the barn siding put up. Um, so a lot of things happening. The way that we do things with our work schedules and all the other things that we have going on, we kind of tend to work in the shed in bursts. So everything that happened in this video was over the course of like a week. And then we had a couple of weeks where we didn't really get anything done inside of the shed. And then we'd come back and we get some more stuff done in, you know, a few days or, or a week or so. Um, so that's one of the reasons why it takes so long because this is kind of like a side project and my dad, myself, my husband, my mom, my cousin, everybody that's helped work on this, we all have things outside of the shed to do. <laughs> so just a heads up, that's why this is taking so long. Um, I love to see the panels on those fall out. So what we're doing here is getting the last three smaller windows put in. Two small windows are being put on the back and one small window is being put on the right side wall. Putting the silicone on it is was like my favorite part. And I learned you guys that installing the windows is actually the easy part. Like the actual install of it was super simple. Measuring where the windows need to go, making sure that they're all straight at the same height level, and then building, like framing it out is the hard part. The actual install, look, that's it. You put silicone around it, you put the window in, you screw it in, and boom, Bob's your uncle, you're done. So it's crazy how much prep work goes into the install and then the install is that simple. So here's an overview of the windows. It was nice whenever we finally got the windows put in because y'all, it was hot out there. Very, got very, very toasty in the shed. And being able to open up a few more windows let in a little bit of a breeze, which was nice. Next up, me and my husband started working on putting the barn siding up. And I've talked about this before. Um, the barn siding, it's it's like faux shiplap. So shiplap's super expensive. I did not want to spend that much money putting shiplap up, but I wanted the shiplap look. So we used barn siding. Now the thing about it is, is one side of it is smooth and the other side of it has a groove in it. So we put the smooth side like where you could actually see the smooth side. And this made it look like they were wider panels like shiplap is. There is one board in my shed that is flipped backwards to where the groove is in it. And we did not see it until we painted everything white. And at that point, the trim was up. Like, there was no going back and fixing it. It could have been fixed, but, like, I did not want to mess with it. I guess it adds character, right? So, um, getting this barn siding put up is a fairly quick process, especially whenever you have two people. The kind of the hardest part is one whenever the boards are bowed which I'm telling you like almost every single board had some type of bow in it if you have two people it helps to hold the board against the wall until you get it nailed up and then two um, getting your cuts right for plugins windows outlets like whatever you have going on um, that, not that it's super hard it's just tedious work <laughs> Between the two of us, me and my husband, we got this wall put up fairly quickly. Um, 
I didn't do the peaks of the wall yet because I wasn't 100% for sure what I wanted to do. So there's actually a lip in between the wall and the peak. Um, if I wanted the entire wall, like the wall and the peak together to be seamless, we would have to frame out the peaks. I didn't necessarily want to go through that process because that was just another thing that needed to be done. So I decided not to do that in the end and we're going to add a shelf up there. Um, still don't have the shelf up there yet, but we'll get to that one day. And then I volunteered my child to help me as well. So me and him was outside one evening um, getting the other side wall started with the um, barn siding. This first board, after we got it put up, we ended up having to take it back down and start from scratch. Like I had to, actually I think this board was like super bowed. So I ended up sticking it, like just laid it up against one of the other walls. Like I didn't even take the brad nails out of it. I was so frustrated with it, but we took it off of there, got a new board cut down to size. And then this was where we ended. We got, you know, over half of the wall done. So I'm pretty proud of us, but that first board, I remember it being so complicated. It was so frustrating. So once we got the walls done, we had to get everything cleaned up because my dad was coming out to get the doors installed. So here's kind of an overview of where we were at at the time. We got this wall here. This is like when you walk in, right? It's to the left. Um, up into the peak is finished. The back wall, we still had even more insulation to do. That was a little footstool that my kiddo built. Um, but we have a disaster, as you can see. And then we also got the front wall finished. Uh, we had right there, and that top seam was messed up. Long story, a little bit of caulk, sanding, and some paint covered that right up, so you can't even tell now. But um, three out of the four walls are finished. We still have to put the board and the uh, barn siding where the electrical panel is so that's just a tiny wall though I think it took us like probably 20 minutes to get it up because super simple cuts nothing complicated but again we had to get everything cleaned up and I am so tired of insulation you guys it's not even funny I feel like I've complained in every video about insulation and it's because it's a serious like I have beef with insulation you know like ugh, forget that if you guys ever decide to do any type of home project like this and insulation is evolved if you can pay somebody else to do it. I know sometimes that's not like in the budget and we can't do that. I couldn't pay somebody to do it, so I get it. But <laughs> if I did this again, I would probably pick up like 19 shifts at the hospital to pay somebody to come in and put the darn insulation up because it was brutal. Especially with it being so hot out there because at the time we didn't have air conditioner in there yet. So we're working in the summer, it's hot. The, as we put up more and more insulation, it got hotter and hotter and hotter in the shed. Uh, the windows, you know, like I said earlier, were a big help with the breeze, but we got everything cleaned up. We have to get some of the boards moved to the other side, kind of moved over some and reorganized so we can start working on that back wall. Your mind that I'm nowhere to find 
and this is the final hole we have to cut in the wall thank goodness this is where the French doors are gonna go I got them from Lowe's I I really wanted ones with double handles but those were super super expensive so the ones I picked out they are metal doors um, there's a handle on the right door that'll open up and then to open up the left door you have to unlock it from the inside seam of the door if that makes sense you guys will see the doors here in just a little bit I actually didn't film us installing the doors because it was um, quite a project getting everything level we had to put the shims in there um, we actually ended up having to grind off some of the top of the door because regardless of what we did we could not get it to shut evenly it was like tearing up the door so um, that was kind of a aggravation that we had to go through but that's okay it all worked out look at that big old hole in the wall that big giant hole let in so much air <laughs> it was so stinking nice here's what the shed looks like from out back so you can see the two small windows are installed and then the hole in the wall for the french doors and here is the french doors installed again i didn't record this big aggravating mess but we got him in there And it wouldn't be a normal day if I didn't have to run to town to pick up something simple that we forgot. At least this time I didn't have to make multiple trips to town. I only had to go once. And I picked up some more electrical wire so we could get the last few plugins. Um, actually, I don't think this was for plugins. I think this was for the lights that are going out back. So we will install lights on either side of the French doors. But for now, we're getting the rest of the wiring done for the lights outside and then also for the plugins getting some of the plugins installed All right, and then here's an overview of where we were at so far. So that is the back wall where the French doors are. We got that wall completed, the barn siding put up, and then it was time to get started on the peaks. Um, this one is the side that the uh, mini split is not going on. So the peak to the right whenever you walk in through the front door the right side of the shed there's nothing on that when you walk in the shed and the peak to the left that's where the mini split is going so we got this wall put up this stuff here is like a it's not plastic it's like a foam kind of deal and we put that up instead of insulation because insulation would have been too thick so remember me talking about that lip being there if I wanted all that to be smooth we would have had to build it out and I didn't want to do that and insulation would have been too thick to where we would have had to build out for the insulation to be put in properly so we did this um, material plasticky kind of stuff we put that up there and it's actually working great like I the mini split does wonderful at cooling the shed we'll see how it does this winter for warming it but works out really well and I have to give a shout out to my husband because he did such a good such a good job with the angle cuts like figuring out the angles that is not my forte y'all mm -mm, not up my alley he was able to figure it out we had a little system going we were getting this wall knocked out pretty quickly We got a new blade installed on the jigsaw so we could get through some of these cuts because the other one was getting super dull <laughs> did not want to cut anything now listen the angle cuts were not perfect and you can see up there on the left side we're off a little bit but something that my dad taught me is that your trim guy will cover up <laughs> your mistakes uh, me and Jimmy are the trim people also we're the ones that cut the angles a little too short but I mean it all works out it's covered up you can't even see it it's not a big deal so um, I'm still proud of us so we still figured it out we still learned a lot 
and we got it done. There's that last little piece going in. And you guys, it is finally here. The mini split has been delivered. Holy cow, this has been like the moment. Like I've been waiting for this. I knew that we would be able to get so much more done in the shed if it was actually cool out there. Cause we were only able to work in the mornings and a little bit in the evenings, it would get way too hot. So here's my cousin Sammy and my dad getting this thing installed. We had to watch um, a couple of videos on it. Them two got it put up that night. And then, I don't know, the next day, a couple days later, I don't know exactly when it was, uh, my dad and me figured out how to get it completely hooked up to the outside unit. Um, so if you're thinking about doing a shed, I highly recommend looking into a mini split. Like I said, it's done amazing at cooling the shed. I wouldn't imagine that this winter it's going to be hard for it to heat the shed, but we'll see once we get there. But so far, so good. I love this thing. It's super quiet. Um, it will actually freeze me out of here. So I've had it so cold in the shed before on accident because I left it on on 62 degrees that there was um, dew on the windows. <laughs> Whoops. But they got this thing installed, at least stuck up there anyways. It wasn't fully installed, but they got it set up onto the wall. And then you'll see in a second, we went outside and got the hoses ran, which we actually ended up having to redo all of this because it wasn't draining a proper or appropriately. And it ended up leaking all kinds of water inside the shed. <laughs> Whoops. But we got the, the drain hose rerouted appropriately to where it, it drains outside. And so here's my dad and my cousin outside working on them. And then here's what the shed looks like at night. All lit up. Well, not fully at night. This was like it, you know, starting to get dark. And then, like I said, a couple days later, don't know how long, me and my dad had to finish putting, actually hooking the system up so we could turn it on and it, it would work. Um, again, we had to watch some videos on it. It was quite tedious, but he got it figured out. Thank God he was there because I literally would have never been able to figure this out. Um, we now call my dad my HVAC guy. And my electrician is also my HVAC guy. <laughs> it's funny, we're all, we're all gaining roles as we go through this project. And believe it or not, there's more insulation to be done. <laughs> so this is us getting it installed on the ceiling. You guys can see I stuck a broom up there to help him hold it up because I was not climbing to the top of that ladder. I'm too short for it and I felt like I was on top of the shed. Do you feel cool standing there like that? I like it. Did you cut another one already? Yeah, it's laying there. Is that fine? Yeah, I was going to take it a little shorter. Oh. <laughs> All right, here's a quick little update from the front door. We'll do a little view all the way around. We've got almost all of the walls finished. We got the A-frame up there completed. We started to get some insulation in on the ceiling so we can get the metal put up. That wall's finally done. This wall's done. We got the doors put in, which you guys seen. And the thing that I'm most excited about is we got the mini split completely set up. Oh, so excited. It's been 92 the last couple of days here in Ohio. Um, we had a heat wave there last week, week and a half ago or so. And um, it's been rough inside of this building, let me tell you. You start sweating bullets. We still obviously have to finish that, the ceiling, hang the lights. Um, that wall has to be finished, but I have a couple of outdoor light or, um, outdoor plugins and the lights that are going to go on the back to run electric for and the ceiling fan, which is right there. So we need, still need to get the ceiling fan hooked up, but we are making progress. Tomorrow we are going to finish putting the insulation on the ceiling and then my dad's going to come over and I honestly, I'm not for sure what we're going to do. I know he's not ready to start on the metal yet, so We'll see. It might just be some little odd and end things. Like this evening I came over and we got the rest of the plugins hooked up. You can see there's one, there's one. 
there's a bunch. I did make sure when I planned this out that there was plenty of plugins. And then we still need to hook up the light switches over there. For now, I'm just using the breaker box to turn them on and off. And then we'll also have to cut a hole in over here and run wire for the outside plug-in. So we'll cut that whenever it's time. I didn't want to not do this whole entire wall over one little light, sw light switch. So um, we just went ahead and did it. And then my husband and my dad got the wall with the mini split finished with the barn siding. That took some fun cuts. So them two worked on that. I wasn't even a part of it. And then here in a second, you guys will see a close up of the mini split and what it looks like. But that's going to be it for this episode. I know it was a lot of things crammed in, a lot of things going on happening. But you guys, we are making progress. Um, if you guys head over to my Instagram, you will see pictures of the inside of the shed. I know we're not there yet on the, the series and, you know, showing you the final result. But there are pictures on Instagram if you want to check it out.